second hour of Asia First. I'm Julie Yu in Singapore, where it's just gone 8 a.m. I'm Christine Chen, and together we'll bring you the top international stories you need to know about today. And I'm Avril Hong, and we're starting off this hour with breaking news out of Singapore. Strength for Singapore, final Q3 GDP numbers just out, with the city-state's economy growing half a percent on-year in the quarter, beating the initial estimate and forecasts. Here in Hong Kong, American lawmakers send a bill to President Trump's desk that would allow the U.S. to take economic and diplomatic action against the territory because of how the anti-government unrest is being handled. But on Capitol Hill, there is bombshell testimony this week. A senior U.S. diplomat tells the impeachment inquiry now in the way Donald Trump was behind the U.S. push to pressure Ukraine to investigate his Democratic rival, Joe Biden. The witness also loops in some top names from the White House, Pence, Pompeo and Giuliani. No one said, back off of Ukraine, this is dangerous, you're doing something that's untoward. So he's going, what do you want, what do you want? I hear all these theories, what do you want, right? And now, here's my response that he gave, just gave. Ready? You have the cameras rolling? I want nothing. Breaking news out of Singapore, the Trade and Industry Ministry has revised upwards its full-year GDP growth forecast for 2019. This following better-than-expected 0.5% GDP growth in the third quarter. Full-year growth is now expected to come in between 0.5 and 1%, compared to 0 and 1% previously. CNA's Eugenia Lim joins us with more now from the Singapore Exchange. So, Eugenia, give us the details. What's driving the economy 